Good evening guys, this is Frank Dickinson and on this evening's video I'm going to give you some tips on how you can use Google Alerts and Google Search uh, to enhance your blogging experience. There are several ways that you can use both of these tools. Um, I want to talk about it from the perspective of helping you to come up with blog topics, uh, blog post ideas, things like that. It seems we're always searching for new things to write about um, and Google Alerts and Google Search are ways or tools that you can use to help in that. We'll talk about some of the other things that you can use it for but this video is specifically about using it for uh, blog topics, blog ideas, things like that. Let's go to Google Alerts first. Um, Google Alerts has been around for a long time. You can use it for several things. I use it in my affiliate marketing uh, but here's some of the things that you can uh, talk about that you can use it for uh, monitoring a news story keeping current on a competitor or industry uh, getting the latest on a celebrity or event keeping tabs on your favorite sports teams uh, specifically with blogging you can do a lot more things with it as well but um, let's let's take a look at how best to use it to get you some blog tip ideas um, so first uh, let's um, uh, all you're going to do here is to put in some search terms. Let's uh, try maybe copywriting. If you are a copywriter or interested in copywriting or interested in finding someone to do copywriting for you um, or if you're interested in writing about copywriting it might be good for you to set up a Google Alert. Uh, Google Alerts are simply alerts that will come directly to your email or to your feed around specific search terms that you have put in so that then you can go in and look at those and get ideas. So let's see how it works. Here's copywriting. One of the, the cool things that they've added to Google Alerts is this preview results. Um, before you actually set it up, set up your alert, you can actually preview some of the alerts that you may be getting and it, it may help you to narrow down your actual search term over here by looking at the previews before you set up the Google Alert. Um, Google Alerts will give you information. I always leave it as the type as everything but you can set it up for to get an alert from news, blogs, get them in real time, video or discussions maybe like from forums and, th forums and things that are going on across the internet. I always just leave it at, ev at everything and you're going to get news, blogs, and the web. And You can see the, the search results that have come back from Google related to your search term copywriting. Now one thing you may want to look at um, sometimes on uh, when you're using search terms without parentheses uh, I'm sorry, with, without quotations on either side of it, you may get search results for the word copy and for the word writing. So sometimes you can put, you can simply put um, uh, quotations around this and it will look up just the words copywriting together. And you can see how this has changed already. Here's copywriting, th some of the things from the web. What I normally do is just leave it here at the full term. Well, if I could spell tonight, I just leave it at the full term. So again, you can use the preview results before you set it up. Then you would move to, like I said, the everything and then how often you want it. I normally do it once a day. You can do it once a week or as it happens as it happens is kind of the real-time alerts whenever uh, something new comes up about your search term they're gonna send you an email or send it to your feed as it happens I'm actually gonna do that tonight because I want you to see how it comes to your inbox um, I always do only the best results you can do all results the best results are just what it sounds like it's the best results for your search terms up here and then you can set up multiple email addresses if you'd like to, in order to deliver it to or you can set it up to come to your feed. Now if you set it to come to your feed um, it is going to come to uh, it 
if you have a Google account, it will come to your Google feed and then you can read it in any RSS reader, whether that's uh, Google Reader or any of the other RSS readers that you like. Um, I'm not a big fan. I've written about the fact that I'm not a big fan of Google readers, so I always get them directly into um, my email box. So we're going to see if we can get one to pop up here real quick by doing the as it happens. All you're doing is putting in your search terms. You may want to preview the results, determine your search fields, and click create alert. So there it is. You see it. You can go back in and edit it if you like. You can delete that one and you may have multiple uh, Google alerts going on at one time around different search terms that you want to blog about or get blog tip ideas for. So that's you, know, you can just go in and add more Google alerts as you see fit. Now let's see if we're going to get any in our inbox. We're going to refresh here real quick and see if we can get one to come in. Doesn't look like anything's coming real quick, but basically what you would get, and maybe when we do the Twitter search, we'll see something come into our to our inbox um, from the Google alerts. But basically what you're going to get is obviously an email with um, a alert that kind of looked like the um, the preview results. Actually, it looks exactly like that. And then you can go into that email and you can go to those websites, uh, blog sites, news sites, look through them. In fact, let's let's go back there for just a minute. If we can here, I'm gonna save. We're gonna go back. You can go in here and as you're looking through the email, you can go to the different websites straight from here and see what other people are saying about copywriting, what other companies are doing with copywriting, or what other bloggers are doing about copywriting. And it may, by reading some of those things related to a topic that you're interested in, you can find tips, ideas, uh, a, a general starting point for your blog post that you're ready to put up. Okay, so that's the easiest way uh, to use Google Alerts. Let's look at Twitter search. Twitter search, obviously Twitter is a huge phenomenon. Um, if you're not on Twitter as a blogger, I would definitely recommend it. Twitter search is a way to do the same thing. You can search Twitter for what's going on around specific search terms that you'll put into your query. So let's go into the Twitter search you can see the the address here is search.twitter.com and for Google Alerts it's simply google.com forward slash alerts. Okay, Twitter search. Let's try copywriting here and see what we get. I, well, I can't talk and do it. Look at that. I searched it already. Copywriting. Hit search. Everything that is going on on Twitter around the terms copywriting you will see here and and Twitter is the same way. See how you can see that there are some results that in the tweet it has both the words copy and writing. You can go back up here into Twitter search and put quotations around it and it will kind of block it off specific to the word copywriting. There you go. Okay, see how those work? And again, here, let's say that you're running a run a blog um, that does copywriting, that you're running a, a business blog that does copywriting for other folks. Look at Steve Andrews. Two hours later, I'm almost done. Copywriting is hard. Don't know. Maybe you want to talk to Steve, start a conversation with him, see if there's any way that you can help him. Uh, give him something for free to help him to 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 start, um, to, to help him in his, in his copywriting. So again, these are just ways that you can use Twitter to see what the conversations are around the different search terms that you might put in. Great ways that you can use, great tools that you can use um, as a blogger to help you get blogging ideas, blogging tips, uh, whatever it is that you're in search of as a blogger, these are two great tools that you can use uh, to get that done. Doesn't look like we got anything in here, but you guys get the idea of uh, how to use Google Alerts and to get them into your email. So there you have it, Google Alerts, Twitter search, 
great ways to use, great tools to use to help you in your blogging endeavors. Guys, we thank you for always dropping by for bloggers, by bloggers, all of us who are contributors here. Uh, love the traffic that we get and the comments, especially uh, the community that is being built around this great website. Thanks. Talk soon, guys.